I get so excited for autumn every year. It feels like after a summer of like just throwing on the easiest pieces to keep cool, you finally get to like have fun with your wardrobe again and try new outfit combinations and really just start dressing almost. And I feel like there's some styles that just constantly repeat themselves year after year when it comes to autumn. Like you'll always see specific pieces or specific themes or colors or styles every single time. And I love that. I think it's like an easy style hack to like know these trends and then be in style every single year without having to reinvent your wardrobe every time. So let's get into some of those pieces and talk about how they're being reinvented for this year. So you can still be on trend without necessarily having to buy too much. First off, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Katie. I talk about sustainable fashion discourse, which definitely comes into play for this video because obviously investing in key pieces that you can rewear over years is so important to sustainable style. And before I get into the specific pieces that I think reoccur season after season, I want to do a little disclaimer. I'm not here to like report on niche micro trends that are on TikTok right now and will go out of style before we even get into winter. I want to talk about the things that I've seen trending on Instagram and Pinterest and yes, TikTok, but they also come back season after season. Morals of a spring. Groundbreaking. And it's just that fashion girlies wear them in a new way or think of different color combinations or just something different. So you feel like you're wearing something new, but actually you just have the same items on repeat. And the good thing about all of these pieces being quite classic is that they're super easy to thrift. So you don't necessarily have to go out and buy something new. Or if you do want to buy something new, you should invest in them and make sure they're really good quality so you can keep them for longer. So literally sustainability all round. Let's get into it. I think it might be a good idea to start with the colors that always come back for autumn because I think this is a way you can get some really unique pieces while still being on trend. For me, this is quite neutral, quite deep colors like burgundy and brown and a deep wine red. But also recently I've seen forest green coming back season after season and just really like neutral naturey colors that really remind you of the changing leaves and the transition. And the really good thing is that I think these colors pair really well together and also with the other neutrals in your closet. Which means that if you're looking for a nail color for autumn as well, then any of the four I mentioned would do really well. One color combination I think really works is cream and brown. For this year, personally, what I kind of want to recreate is a brown jacket, cream like lace blouse underneath, and then black sort of washed denim. I think that's such a nice look. I'll try to find some examples, but it's kind of in my head. And obviously mixing the different hues of these colors will definitely be a way to spice up the outfit and make it a little bit less boring, especially if you wanna wear multiple pieces in the same color. Because these are just colors, you can really go to town on what form they take in your wardrobe and make it really unique. Personally, I think investing in something that you can wear with multiple outfits is a really good idea, just so you can always have that staple autumn color in your outfit, like a coat or a blazer or a bag or shoes or jeans would make it a really easy reoccurring piece. And just because a lot of these colors are very neutral, very dependable, it doesn't mean you can't have fun with them. It doesn't mean you can't buy them in interesting ways in different patterns. Striped is always gonna be in for autumn because of how preppy it is. So is tartan, so is plaid. So buying pieces in these colors, but in interesting patterns, interesting textures even, like corduroy or heavy wool knits is a really good way to add interest to something that might otherwise be a bit basic. I think one thing that's definitely coming back a lot this year, but also will always be on trend, is plaid, specifically in skirts. There's so many ways to style this, but I think particularly the long maxi slim pencil skirt looks so nice in this pattern, especially paired with like a frilly summer blouse or a more square heavier top. I just think the balance of proportions looks so good here. And obviously it's a really good one for getting in different colors and introducing an easy statement piece into your wardrobe. Like you could pair this with just a full outfit of neutrals and just have the color of the plaid shining through and it would look so good. 
Going back to what I was saying about keeping your summer items alive through fall, I think chunky knitwear is the easiest way to do this. Obviously any good wardrobe needs some good jumpers and sweaters, but I think especially in autumn, there's a real chance to play with how you style them. I love the chunky, heavy, oversized jumper look paired with like a mini skirt or boxer shorts or that kind of like balance of proportions with a little summer bottom and a big autumn top. Obviously the good part about autumn is the weather starts to change, it starts to get colder and you can really start playing with layering, which I definitely abandon in summer. And I think knowing how to layer is a really good cheat on making a good outfit in autumn. It doesn't even have to be hard. It could literally be as simple as wearing a mini skirt, a white t-shirt and a jacket, but buttoning the jacket only at the top so it shows the rest of your outfit. Or wearing a mini skirt and biker boots, like I said, but having really long thick socks underneath the biker boots, not only to help with the weather, but to just add that layering option. One thing I think again, proves my point of like bringing summer bottoms into fall is people styling those lace maxi skirts that have been trending on TikTok for a while now with big oversized knit jumpers. Even though I didn't invest in this trend, it's not really for me, this lace maxi skirt. I love how some of these have been styled, especially this one where they've got a t-shirt poking through and then a jumper. I just think the layers look so, so good. And I'll probably be recreating this as best as I can with my long white maxi skirt I thrifted this summer in Barcelona. I think what's so good about it is the mix of femininity of the lace skirt and the really heavy, chunky knitwear. That opposition is what makes a really good outfit, especially when you pair it with chunky accessories and boots like this girl has. It just instantly says, you know what you're doing with fashion, I think. Obviously a leather jacket is just a really easy, versatile piece for your wardrobe, but I think it especially hits in autumn. There's just something about putting on a big, heavy, chunky piece like a leather jacket after a summer of bare shoulders and you know flimsy little dresses. That just feels really nice to me. And I think there's a lot of different styles you can shop to make sure you're getting the right style for you. Personally, right now, I'm obsessed with a brown heavy leather biker jacket to match those biker boots. But I also really like the car racing jackets I've seen a lot of people wearing. And I think paying attention to the fit of the jacket is what's gonna really make an impact for you. Personally, I'm looking for something quite oversized, something that comes below my hips so I can pair it with dresses and mini skirts and it still feels quite enveloping and cozy. But I also think that going for a cropped version that sits on your hips or even a little bit higher could work, especially if you're gonna pair it with jeans. And obviously you can get these in a really fun color or with a fun stripe pattern if you're going for the racing jacket, just to make it a little bit more interesting. But definitely check if you can buy these thrifted first since there's so many already created and if you can get a secondhand real leather one versus a oil-based PU leather I think you'll definitely see a step up in quality now I'm not sure what's trending this season whether it's still Adidas Sambas or whether we've moved on to a new trainer or a new shoe but I've just been obsessed with these biker boots I wanted them when everyone was wearing them two three years ago and I still want them now which is how I know that I should invest in the piece I think they're a really good statement piece and it's something that that automatically makes your outfit feel a bit edgier, a bit more autumn. And you can also pair them with your summer pieces to bring those items into fall. Like with a summer dress or a mini skirt, I think this looks so, so cute. And I especially love it with like a maxi dress and the boots underneath. I think that's so chic. But also the shoe that always comes back for autumn is a loafer. It doesn't matter what style of loafer you get, whether you like one with a little logo on it or whether you like it in a particular color, one of the colors I've mentioned maybe but that kind of like preppy back to school vibe is always going to be in for autumn and then in terms of accessories this autumn specifically i think we're going to be seeing a lot of like hobo bags and shoulder totes which i just think are so chic and again i think finding them in those autumn colors would do you a massive favor if you want to be constantly on trend and constantly feel like you're bringing autumn to an outfit like i said preppy is always in i think a recent trend that shows this is big glasses i've seen a lot of the girls on Pinterest, a lot of the girls on Instagram wearing square, heavy, oversized frames 
and I think it's really chic. I'm looking for a pair of these sunglasses thrifted. I haven't been able to find any yet for a good price, but I'll be snapping them up when I do. In terms of hairstyles, because preppy is always in, it always works to go for a kind of plaited look or like hair proper scraped back kind of look, putting it up in a bun or whatever. Again, I think all of these pieces are so classic. They come back every year. So it's a good idea to invest in them and make sure you're really paying attention to what you want. And I've done a little video series on exactly how you can do that because I think it's so important to know what you're looking for and be able to get that online rather than settling for something you don't actually really like and then replacing it after a few years. And of course, even though I've given you a whole list of items that will always be in for full, the person you need to listen to most is yourself. Because if you like one of the trends I've mentioned, but you don't think it's gonna fit in your wardrobe, then you're probably not gonna wear it. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys are excited for for autumn and what you always pull out, what your go-tos are every year. I think I've definitely probably missed some stuff out. So maybe I'll do a winter version if you guys like the idea. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Speak to you soon. Bye.